Hi there, everybody. Welcome to our lesson on the Earth's coordinates dealing with latitude and longitude. Now, if you wanted somebody to find your house, what you would do is you'd give them your address, and that address would include your house number and street name and town. You might even include things called landmarks that might include buildings, lakes or ponds, or certain unique structures like maybe a windmill like we have in our town. So this way, if people were on their way to your home and they saw these landmarks, they knew they were on the right path. However, that doesn't work everywhere in the world. If you're a fisherman or a, a captain of a boat and your boat's out in the middle of the ocean, there are no roadways, there are no landmarks out in the ocean other than flat blue water. So if something were to happen like the ship was sinking or you had engine failure and you couldn't get power to power your boat, then you would have to call for help. And in order to call for help, you need to be able to tell people where you are. In the middle of the ocean, we have no addresses. However, we do have a unique address, the most unique address on Earth, and that is our latitude and longitude coordinate system. So what we're going to do in this lesson, we're going to take a look at what latitude and longitude coordinates are and how these help us identify or locate places on the Earth's surface. So let's take a look at them. All right, the first line that we're going to talk about are latitude lines. Latitude lines are the lines that run across the map. All right, so they go from like east to west or west to east, however you want to look at them. But they are the ones that go across. Now, the easiest way to remember latitude lines is I always remember two, one of two things. One, the A in latitude stands for across. And B, I also sometimes remember how latitude lines look like a ladder. So if you take a look at a ladder here, you'll notice that the ladder has these rungs or steps that run across and they're they don't touch each other, so they're separated from one another, just like the latitude lines on a globe. So one other way, in using that metaphor, is you can remember latitude. Latitude would help you remember that the rungs of the ladder move up and down, just like the lines of latitude on a map. Now, the purpose of having latitude lines is to measure distance from the equator. When we take a look at the equator, the equator is this red line here, and this red line acts as our main reference line. So this is the line that all other latitude lines are based off of. When we measure distance from the equator, we measure our distances in degrees. To be specific, you have to remember that the equator will split the Earth into two halves, called hemispheres, or half spheres. The top half of the Earth is called the northern hemisphere, and then the bottom half is called the Southern Hemisphere. Now, when you give somebody your latitude line in like 10 degrees, you tell them that you're 10 degrees away from the equator. We could be 10 degrees north of the equator or 10 degrees south of the equator. So that's what these latitude lines are telling somebody when you give them that part of the coordinate. Now, latitude lines are parallel. They never touch. They don't intersect. So one example here is if you see the 70 degree north line and the 80 degree north line, they go around the globe, but they never touch each other. So you, if you can remember that these are parallel lines, then the parallel lines you can also remember as latitude lines. Four, latitude lines stop at the poles. So we have two areas where they stop. We have them stop at the North Pole, and we have them stop at the South Pole. As you can see in the North Pole, the highest latitude that you can be at is 90 degrees. Depending on which hemisphere of the Earth you're in, you can be at 90 degrees north, which is the North Pole, and buried down here, you would have 90 degrees south, which is the South Pole. There is no latitude coordinate higher than 90, so there's no such thing as 91 or 92. It stops at 90 degrees. Now, when you give your latitude coordinates, it's important to give the number of degrees and designate whether you are north or south of the equator. So, for example, if a ship captain's boat was dead in the ocean, but if they set them at 30 degrees, the problem is whoever they're radioing to may not know whether it's 30 degrees north or 30 degrees south. So you always have to write it and designate your coordinates as the number of degrees, like 30 degrees north or 30 degrees south. That's what you do for every latitude coordinate. Now, when we take a look at latitude lines, You'll notice that they're in degrees. When we measure them, they're in degrees, and there's a reason for that. When we find latitude coordinates, what happens is you have to take a look at the equator and at the center of the equator, basically like the center of the Earth, and take a look at where you are on Earth. So, for example, let's say we're at the North Pole. If we're at the North Pole, we're up here. If I were to take a line and extend it all the way down to the center of the Earth at the equator, okay, 
Take a look at the angle that that line makes. This line ends up making a right angle. And if you know what a right angle is, you'll know that a right angle is 90 degrees. Well, that's the angle that the North Pole makes with the equator. So we say that it's at 90 degrees. And because it's in the Northern Hemisphere, it would be 90 degrees north. Now, if we were somewhere else, we'd have to give a different coordinate. So let's say, for example, we were on this latitude line here. If you wanted to figure out what degrees or how many degrees this latitude line is, what you would do is you would take your pencil and you would mark a line all the way down to the center of the Earth. And you would take a tool like a protractor to figure out the, the degrees. Well, if you take a look here, you can eyeball and see that this line here is going to cut this 90 degree angle in half. So if we cut the 90 degree angle in half, you'll notice that we'll come out with 45 degrees. That means this angle is 45 degrees, which puts this particular spot on Earth at 45 degrees north because again it's north of the equator all right longitude lines are different from latitude lines meaning that as we saw before latitude lines ran across the globe well longitude lines run from pole north pole to south pole so they run from pole to poles their main purpose is also to measure distance but they measure the distance east and west of the prime meridian just like latitude lines had their main reference line called the equator Longitude lines have a main reference line called the prime meridian. So if you're at 10 degrees longitude, then you are 10 degrees away from the prime meridian. If you're at 20 degrees longitude, then you're 20 degrees away from the prime meridian. Now, as we said, the prime meridian is the reference line, so it's always marked at zero degrees. And the prime meridian is going to divide the Earth into two other hemispheres, the equator to northern and southern hemispheres. Well, the prime meridian is going to create western and eastern hemispheres. Longitude lines are also known as meridians. Now, longitude lines stop at what are called the international date line. And we'll get in more into that when we do time zones. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is that longitude lines meet at the poles. So you can see that they all would intersect at the North Pole, and they would also intersect at the South Pole. And lastly, when you write the coordinates of longitude, what you need to do is you need to make sure you designate them with degrees E or degrees W. That means the number of degrees east and number of degrees west. Why? Because again, the prime meridian cuts the earth in half, the western hemisphere, and the eastern hemisphere. If I say I'm at 10 degrees, I could either be 10 degrees west of the prime meridian or east of the prime meridian. I have to designate it so I know which area I'm actually in. Now, longitude lines are in degrees because, again, they are created by angles. So what you need is you need your center of the Earth, the prime meridian, and also the position on Earth. So here we are on the prime meridian. So this line here, this edge here is our prime meridian. If we go back to the center of the Earth and then kick out to a spot on the Earth's surface away from the prime meridian, the angle that is made is going to give us that direction. So this here, I made it as a 90 degree angle. So that makes this area here, this spot on Earth, 90 degrees. Now, the thing is, I have to make sure I know whether it's east or west of the prime meridian. If we're just saying that a prime meridian is located here, I'm to the right of the prime meridian, so that would give me 90 degrees east. All right, so when you take a look at a longitude-latitude map, you're going to get a grid system that looks like this. Typically, your longitude will be at the top and the bottom. And the reason why they're at the top, because remember, your longitude lines run from pole to pole. So they run from top to bottom. And then here you have your latitude lines. Now, when you have a latitude longitude map, there's a couple of things that you could be doing. One, I could be asking you what are the coordinates of a particular spot. Or two, I could be asking you to plot a point on the map at a certain coordinate. So for example here, if I were to ask you to plot a point at 45 degrees north latitude and 60 degrees west longitude, then what you would do is this. You would take a look and you'd find 45 degrees north latitude. So you have to find your reference lines. Your reference lines are the equator and the prime meridian. So this way you know which parts of the earth you're working in. So if I'm at 45 degrees north latitude, that means I have to find my equator and go north up 45 degrees. All right, so I know at least I'm in the top half of the graph here, or the map rather. Next, if my second coordinate was 60 degrees west longitude, 
then I have to take a look for my prime meridian and see where west is. Now, if you remember the, the trick we, W, E, then west is going to be to the left. So if I'm to the left, I'm going to look for 60 degrees on the left side of the prime meridian. And then I'm going to look for 45 degrees north of the equator. And that would bring me right here. That would be my plot or point that I would mark on my map for 45 degrees north and 60 degrees west. Now, the second question could be, I could ask you to write the coordinates for point X on the map. So here I have point X and I need to figure out what my coordinates are. Now, when you write coordinates, the first thing that you need to do is remember that latitude is always written before longitude. Think about it as alphabetical. LA in latitude comes first before LO in longitude. So what I need to do is I have to find my latitude line. So all I have to do is find my X and then just read which line I'm sitting on. Right here, I'm at 60 degrees. Now, the trick is here, you have to figure out whether you're north or south of the equator. Again, if you're above the equator, you're north. That's where I'm at. That's 60 degrees north. Now, I have to take a look at what longitude line I'm working on. So, I see that I'm on this longitude line here, and all I have to do is run up and see where it intersects on that top. And it tells me I'm at 90 degrees. But remember, I have a 90 degrees west and a 90 degrees east. So, you always have to determine whether you're west or east. As long as you are on the right-hand side of the prime meridian up to 180 degrees, you are in the eastern part. If you are on the left side going up to 180 degrees, then you would be in the western part. Well, since I'm on the right, that means my X is at 90 degrees east longitude. So if I were to write the coordinates for this point, my point coordinates would be 60 degrees north and 90 degrees east. All right, folks, that's all there is to latitude and longitude lines and using their coordinates. I hope you found this helpful.